When superpowers first appeared, it was chaos. People across the yeah, world had to find peaceful ways to adapt to a new reality. Eventually, an ideology started circulating among metahumans. Not quirk suppression, but liberation. Using powers is a right. Especially Chikara Yotsubashi. Okay, Destro? Who gets to decide, I guess? Members were arrested, and the organization was thought to be dissolved. Suck that, Freedom. Destro ended up writing a book in prison before committing suicide. Which weirdly might have helped increase the book's popularity, as weird and twisted as that is to say. We have this propensity to give more weight to things we can attach a narrative to, especially if it's traumatic. The tortured soul. If the government continues to stand idly by, we have no choice but to deal with them ourselves. We will take down the League of Villains in Destro's name. This guy's got a big, big storm coming in the form of Radio Titan about to appear in his doorstep while he still has one. The idea of freedom to use one's powers is interesting because it's not hard at all to get on board with the idea of limiting powers as it pertains to preventing harm from befalling others, right? But that's no different from just normal law. Assuming people are following the law otherwise and are not doing things that harm people or break laws that would be relevant even outside of a society with quirks, who gets to decide how people use their abilities? I've been curious about this since early on in the show. You know, there's this very, very heavy and rigid cataloging and licensing thing happening, and it hasn't really come up as an issue in the show that much, if at all, just because for the most part, the government doesn't really seem to have any darker agenda and definitely is better than the villains we see emerging in the show. And their, their motives. But I feel like it wouldn't be riskless and it wouldn't be faultless. You know, there would definitely be problems of overregulation that would emerge and that could be used for evil. It could be used for suppression. It could be used for control. You could imagine, you know, a certain group having special rights and privileges that were not afforded to the common person. Part of me does feel inclined to say that people should be free to do what they want. You know, it's tricky. Welcome to the suburbs. City. Once Makia wakes up in an hour and 40 minutes, he'll chase Shigaraki to this day. When he makes his entrance, he'll run into the so-called Liberation Army. A friend approaches! I've been commanded to this guy. guy today. Unremarkable purple man. A hero? Well, not a well-known one. Exactly, Spinner. I get it. It's the whole city. Right you are! <laughs> this is a liberated district. They got their own suburban city. That's cool, but also leaves them somewhat vulnerable to this... Crazy attack they're about to experience. There's no need to worry about civilians, not that they would. I'm sure he's being entertained. Didn't you say you'd give me back if we came? Greasy back! Oh. A mini Forget Quirk, just take this rock to the face. What was that guy's Quirk? Being middle aged? Ah! Did they not come a little bit early? <laughs> like, should they have waited that hour for Radio Titan to wake up? I must interview you. <sighs> nope. Revival party. They won't be releasing any of those monsters. There are three reasons. Seems I'm more informed than you. They're having to ration the monsters that made them viable opponents. This guy talks a big game, but as he's talking, I'm just getting glimpses of... What was his name? Forgettable Mafia guy's face lying on the mattress in the middle of the highway as Shigaraki just stepped all over him. That is where this is going, I think. A league of villains that can't use Nomu is nothing more than a social club. But a pretty cool social club, though. They love each other. Liberation warriors train each day in preparation for the future in order to live their best and most authentic lives. That's why you're such a nuisance. You're not living authentically enough. What horrors in your past made you turn out this way? Who's, like, bringing this fire? If you want to stay alive longer, then you'll have to do the interview. She what Kizuki, Kote, is she going on about? Marius. Landmine. Another chicken man. So this reporter thing is not related to the quirk, it's just a weird thing that she does. The blood exploded. There are warriors within our ranks who are more than willing to become bombs for the cause. This is them just living their authentic lives as bombs. Free bombs. So how'd you end up here? When did things first go off the rails? It's an interesting way to get some backstory on Why did you Toga. throw away a normal life? Stain. Dusty facts and hearsay aren't what will draw people to our cause. Conduct interviews. Look at the faces of your subjects. In order to guide public opinion, create a must spin. appeal to emotion first and foremost. Emotional spin. Wise man. I love you so much it hurts. Let me show you how much I love you with this box cutter. I believe my life 
right now is normal. Yes, that is definitely the face of normalcy, Himiko Toga. We did our best, but we obviously failed. That child is a demon. Mommy, Daddy, this little bird is cute, isn't he? I, I love him. Drink. It's blood. It sure falls in love easily. You are the embodiment of a repressed superhuman society. <laughs> This is very, very cultish in nature. It's like, all of your problems, they could be solved by our ideology. Is this recruitment? Are we being recruited? So cute! Man, I feel like a lot of people probably fall through the cracks in that way, in this quirk society. This world, what you felt was completely natural. Especially with all these unique quirks that no one has any precedence for understanding. Couldn't comprehend that. Right. You shut your mouth! Definitely hit a nerve. There's no difference between your normal and the Liberation Army's goal. They're one and the same. This is the ultimate truth of the Liberation Army's ideals. I mean, their actions aside, as a group, what she's saying doesn't really seem wrong. Like, this would be a problem in society, right? And people probably shouldn't be demonized for things that they're born with. Though the fact that they have a point doesn't mean it's necessarily the right move to subscribe to their cult and just become a pawn in their, their larger game, uh, whatever that is. But it does seem a little bit more ideologically robust than the League of Villains, who whose big thing is like, I don't like the fact that people are pretending things are okay when they're not, and so I'm going to show them just how not okay it is in this weird sort of self-perpetuating logical cycle. I mean, yeah, where do you go? You know, where do you go? Who do you turn to if you have a unique quirk that's sort of difficult for others to accept that leads to weird things? How do you navigate that when people are going to be so quick to ostracize you? I'm curious to see what happens when Deku comes into contact with this ideology in this group. I feel like as a sympathetic person, he wouldn't disagree with a lot of this. He would just disagree with probably their methods and any actions they do that are harmful to others. No! Where will She's you resisting the cult's the influence. Overpower us. Well, you don't want to be part of our holy book? Don't you dare feel bad for me! Take an Uraraka's form, interesting. I know that meta ability She's taking a real you to change your appearance. beating. Please, give me your story! <laughs> Twice? Twice? Oh, this is love? Interesting that she gets the power, too. Got super speed while she's at it. She is, is this a surprise to her, too? Oh, she just, like, evolved. She did. That's incredible, that's like, what's his name? Class 1B spokesman's power, but more. This has so much potential. Just killed a lot of people. Put that in your book. Toga's gone. Where is she? I knew twice I had a thing for Toga. I was expecting him to show up. It's better not to kill. Leave him to the big guy. Pretty sure everyone that fell from the sky like that died, but okay. Things we hate should be destroyed. Right. Right. Tomura. That is the philosophy of this group so far. I know that my body's glitchy right now. Flashback. <laughs> it's very meta. I don't recall this happening. Right, they're related. If you're gonna show me a memory, show me all of it. I'm rooting for you. He's like talking to the writers of the show right now. I'm wondering about the re reliability of his memories. Remember when I said he wouldn't kill anyone because of redemption? Well, these are villains, so it's all right. Villains are expendable. Just turn them all to ash. Write about that in your book. Looked like his decay spread even though he didn't touch all of them. Everyone's leveling up, leveling up right now. This is a great day. Great grinding day for them. Nice job sneaking up on me even though you're a tank. This guy looks pretty cool. It's a complicated concept, but I guess I'll teach you. Ice melts! See? So that common though, obviously. Training much longer than any hero or villain for that matter. The Grand Commander helped me push This is pretty awesome. Ice use. Damn. Damn Ice so strong. Resist fire. Crap, she's burning up. Shut it. How can I? There's blood everywhere. Is she breathing? It's a great conversation he's having with himself. You have to live. You're where I belong. You make the League a place we want to be. Speaking of love. <laughs> You're the only one who needed this failed human being. Damn it. I'll kill them. Toy's got something to die for right now. He made copies of himself, was almost killed by those duplicates, and lost his own sense of self. And now I don't even know if he is a duplicate. To live your intended life, you liberated your meta powers. But that resulted in a wounded soul. 
So they actually are trying to recruit some of them. That makes sense. I feel like this is a growing thing that, that we're seeing. These sort of grand plans that rely on combos of quirks, which is kind of cool. We've seen it mostly from people who amalgamate quirks, like All for One. And the villain in Heroes Rising. But who's to say it couldn't just be like a collection of individuals that, that make that happen? And the heroes could do it for that matter, too. It's time that you begin to understand your own worth. I will persuade you to join the Liberation Army. Right, yeah, they're trying to get twice. Interesting. To keep Redestro alive. So this was a somewhat bizarre episode. The Liberation Army is weird. Reporter Girl is weird. The head is weird. Their points, their ideas are, are really interesting on the surface. And I feel they're valid, but then that sort of overshadowed somewhat by just like creep factor and bizarreness. <laughs> and then like the whole time, even though they're fighting this difficult battle, I'm just waiting for Radio Titan to show up and demolish them. One glimmer of light and warmth in this otherwise very, very weird arrangement of Lost Souls is twice his regard for Toga. That's been something that's been building for a while. I think I first noticed it in season four. And now she's down and out and they're after him. I feel like there's some interesting ways that could go. Although that creates a, a huge danger for him because he is potentially very, very weak and vulnerable and like made of clay. There's also a possibility that this ends not with the leader being left on a mattress as Shigaraki walks over him on a highway, but rather with like the League of Villains winning, but you know, absorbing some of this group into them, as well as the power of the Titan, which has been one of the, the main focal points of this arc so far. That would create a huge challenge and, and a formidable threat for the heroes going forward in season six, I guess. So yeah, that's the end of episode two of My Villain Academia. See you guys next time when Twice fails and dies. See you guys next time when Twice survives and saves Toga.